Hi, my name is Milos, Mili Savljevic. That's the, the name I yeah, to risk. I know, that's the harder part. That was what part. I was going to say, though. <laughs> cool. <laughs> no, uh, so it's a, it's a great honor to be here. Uh, I'm the founder of Strawberry Energy. Uh, our goal in Strawberry is to try to enhance the smartness of public spaces. Because there is a lot of things happening of like smart homes, smart cars, smart everything, but somehow we are like not doing anything in these public spaces where we spend a lot of time in. But anyway, we are going to go, we are going to, uh, you're going to hear a lot about it. So basically, the really good news from our side, which is like big for us, is that we open office in London as well. We were invited as, uh, as one of the couple of smartups into the Cognicity uh, Smart City Accelerator, organized by Canary Wharf. So we came directly from Belgrade, where we started all of this. Now we are in London as well. And as you know, since, since speaking about cities in London, uh, right now, around half of the world's population live in the cities. The city is defining as urban areas where people actually live. And it's going to be even more, like according to UN, uh, in 30 years from now, 90% uh, of the world population will live in urban city areas. Uh, they will be responsible for around 80% of the world's CO2 emission and also for ab about 75% of all total world energy use. So, for the better or the worse, the cities are definitely the future and we should try to do something about it in order to, like, to, to, to change it to be for the better, not for the worse. So as you know, the times are changing. Technology is evolving really rapidly. The recent growth of smartphones, social media, changed the way how we interact with each other, how we interact with the space around us. And our cities mainly say, stay the same as they were like 50 years ago. And we wanted to try to like see how, what we can do to, to, to actually bring this kind of smart, smartness to the cities. This is a research done by Harvard University. And as you can see, those are like 10 technology trends that will shape the future of our cities. And you have a bunch of different things there. But we decided to, to actually focus on something we deeply care about and we think we might make some, some uh, progress in there. And those three of these, smartphones, smart city, a city where every, everything talks and responsible public spaces. So we started from this really convenient thing called public spaces. We have a lot of them. We are using them every day. We have a bunch of people on them, and we have a huge amount of smart technology which finds its way in all other spheres of the, of the life. But we want now to bring it, that all together and to create these smart spaces in order to try to improve the, the quality of life in the, in the, in the public spaces. So uh, while doing that, while imagining what we are about to do, we, we had these core three principles in mind. And the first one was to actually to try to improve the quality of life in any level we could actually imagine and, and develop in the, in the future. The second being that it has to be really easy to use, user-friendly, and the third and like really important is that it has to be aesthetically and, and beautifully designed. So we created the Strawberry Tree. The Strawberry Tree is a smart IoT hub designed for public spaces. Uh, this is one of the designs we have installed I will just show you a couple of photos to see how it looks like. And so far, we installed 14 of them in 10 different uh, cities in three different countries. And we are installing new one as we speak. Uh, so what's even more important is we, des we imagined them as a unique smart city platform, outdoor smart city platform, which will help you bring all of these cool technologies into the outdoor spaces. So, what we did actually, we divided it into like three main uh, hardware resources we have, and a power and connectivity being the first, the second being a social hub, and the third being metering, connected metering or environmental sens sensing, if you want. And the second thing being, on top of that, you're able to actually add a wide range of different services to help improve different spheres of, 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 of the, uh, your everyday life. So let's start, let's go through each of them really quickly to just show what we did so far. We are doing this for almost four years. We have a bunch of, thing, bunch, bunch of things going on. So the first one is actually power and connectivity. Uh, that means that we are using this solar, solar power, which is pow all the strawberry tree 
is about solar energy. We use it to provide you power in outdoor spaces to recharge your portable devices, your iPad, smartphones, you name it. And we also provide a, a Wi-Fi internet, so you can also do that as well. But most importantly, those are kind of uh, everyday use cases. Even more important in that, in that sense is actually this kind of public safety disaster preparedness features, because uh, whenever something goes bad, usually, and that's like you can remember a couple of years ago, we had a major sandy blackout in New York City. Usually, whenever something is wrong, the, the power goes down, the communication channels go down. And in those cases, the strawberry tree would be the only place in these areas which will, will be up and running to provide you power, to provide you connectivity, to provide you any relevant information about the rescue areas or anything else. Uh, the second being a social hub actually means that we have a bunch of street furniture outside, a bunch of benches, a bunch of all these things. We are using them and they're not so smart and we wanted to try to do that as well. So this part is a huge deal around strawberry tree as well. We are as being a, as a connected device, we actually measured the amount of people who came to the strawberry tree and used some of the services. So far, we had more than 400,000 users who engaged with strawberry tree in the last three, three and a half years. And on average, they spend around 10 minutes at strawberry tree, which brings us to 60,000 60, hours of user attention. And it's an enormous potential in a sense that you can uh, provide a bunch more services to offer more services and more help, help to people while they're sitting and spending their, their time there. And actually the third part is actually, you, you, we, we heard a lot today about it, so I will not pr probably bring anything new. Uh, but the idea of having this kind of uh, IoT hubs capable of basically holding any kind of different sensors you might want to have in different places around the globe is a huge thing because if you have the infrastructure across the city to actually bring them up, you can have this kind of a smart city network which can you use in a variety of different ways. I made just a free example. Almost all of them were mentioned in any like, shape or form today before me. So the first one is to actually have the idea about this hyper-local environment. To actually know, know or to get this really basic data across the city which will help you improve your life in a many different ways. And that's like what's, and not on a city by city level, which is usually today the case, uh, but on a block, city block by city block level or a street by street level. And that's something which changed London is doing very good in London, but there is a bunch of other places in the world and somebody has to like try to push that out. So you, are, you might be interested what's the, what's the air quality in your street or what's the air quality in your, where your kid is going to school or what is the noise level in your local park or anything in that, in that manner. The second thing which is still kind of a, a, a early on but there's a great potential is actually public health. In analyzing all, for example, just to give one example, uh, uh, analyzing the, the particles in the air, you can, for example, get the better sense of understanding how the uh, particles which cause asthma or any other disease are what's happening with them in the real time in the city. So if you, ha if you have any people who are, have any of these allergies, they can have in, in, in their own palm, they can have real time data about the, any kind of uh, uh, areas of the city they should stay off today in order not to cause any problems. And the third part, again, of like you, you t using this kind of smart infrastructure across the city is actually M to M communication or M to vehicle communication. Because once we have, we'll have soon more and more smart connected cars and they will need any kind of this local relevant info about the condition on the road, about is there ice, what is the wind levels, and et cetera, et cetera, which might also be used if you have this kind of a smart network across the city. So that would be just a short preview about what we are doing. A bunch of these, bunch of these things are already developed and we, are, we have them in the strawberry trees across these 10 different cities. And just to wrap up, I still have uh, five minutes more, but I will be short. Uh, we wanted to build this kind of a smart, smart city infrastructure to help solve some of the, of, the, of the smart city challenges. And as you can see, we focused on these five, sensing the city in the real time, providing better public safety disaster preparedness features, using 100% clean energy and not contributing to the CO2 emissions, providing charging stations for people as well as connectivity of any kind. And that would be all from me. 
if you have any questions. Thank you very much, Milos. Yeah. I have to say, a, a beautiful presentation, uh, stunning imagery, and, and a beautiful product as well. Your strawberry tree is, is incredibly well designed and functional as well. Where does strawberry come from? I'm sorry if, if I missed it in the presentation. Why strawberry? Yeah, so uh, the company name is Strawberry Energy, and the company was a little bit older than a, than a product. Right. So when we started, uh, the strawberry was a couple of our, like me and a couple of my friends had a uh, favorite fruit, which was strawberry. And then we decided to make a company called Strawberry Energy. Uh, and when we came across the idea to start with these public solar charging stations, yep. we said like, okay, the tree is a great synonym for ecology. Tree actually is using sun energy to give us oxygen. And we said, let's use sun energy to give us 21st century oxygen, which is electricity into the city's public spaces. And then we called it strawberry tree. Yeah, no, catchy name. I like, I like the sound Thank of you. that. Um, and in t so congratulations on getting the London gig. That's very, that, that's very exciting. Uh, again, I know I'm British, but I'm going to ask about money. Yeah. How, does, how does it work? Well, what's your yeah. business model there? So, so far, we are selling the devices, as you can, like, like a cars. Like yep. You can sell. Uh, we had around 50% of customers from any state, like any government level, mm -hmm. municipal, regional, whatever. And in different cases, we had corporate uh, sponsors, which usually had to do something with advertising tied to it, but that's what that was. That okay. was in, like... 50% of the other cases. And basically what we are doing, trying to do is to bring this, uh, to bring new revenue streams so we can actually give this kind of uh, devices for free. And we are working with several partners, strategic partners in that era, which we hope to achieve in a year or two. I love that. Yeah. Where, where's my nearest strawberry tree? Right now is in, 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 in Timisoara, Romania. Okay. <laughs> Um, where will where will be my nearest strawberry tree in I the foreseeable future? I hope in the Canary, London, in right? Canary Wharf, if we have any luck with them. I think I'm fishing we quite well in Canary Wharf. Yeah, it would. yeah, although I'd like to see it in a more traditional setting as well. The kind of juxtaposition between high tech and nature yeah. would be would be lovely. Yeah. Um, any questions, please, for, for Milos? Yes, questions straight at the back there. Microphone's on its way. Hold it there, so just one second. We, we have cameras and things as well. Yeah, you there have we to go. be recorded. Um, apologies if you, if you mentioned this and I missed it, but it, it sounds like a tourism would be quite a strong uh, potential in terms of giving out information and, and, yeah. and providing local things to do, that sort of thing, as well yeah. as the power, obviously. Yeah, so basically the question is that tourism might be the, the easy tourism a huge advantage, and it is. Uh, that's one of the probably easiest markets to, 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 to entry because all of these highly tourist places, all of the like uh, resorts, everything which has to do with like summertime, people usually spend a bunch of time outside and they do not carry which like all kind of equipment with them. They want to be free and relaxed. So uh, the, all of the tourist places are huge potential. We are working with, uh, for example, Adriatic region right now because like it's close to us and we'll bring that there. But that's just what, let's say that's just first entry we are going to have and especially it's good for tourists because you usually don't have energy and usually don't have yeah. internet when you are traveling abroad so it's a it's a it's a paradise for for tourists okay any more questions uh yes yes please and then over there as well hi um yeah. what are the main barriers to implement these strawberry trees here in the uk in the UK, so uh, we, we approached, uh, there is a bunch of different ones, uh, usually regulation being the one. Uh, if you're trying to do anything in a public space, it's not so easy to do. Uh, so we had success in that. Actually, we, almost all of these installations were actually in the public spaces. Uh, since we packed it in a way that it's really beneficial for all of the like all of the factors in, in, the, in, in, the, in the deal, in the package. So usually it's just slow, but it's doable on one side. On another side, uh, the better way to, do, to, to actually start take off is to focus on these private public spaces, uh, places which are pub public in a sense, like, but are governed by private entities like shopping malls, university campuses, hotel resorts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, where basically they can revolve being one of them. Mm. They can install tomorrow whatever they want. 
and that's like one of the main barriers. Thank you. Terrific. You're Thank welcome. you. And one last question there. Yes, please. Just a quick one. How do you deal with maintenance for the strawberry trees? Uh -huh. So uh, we have maintenance partner in, in every country, local partners. Uh, and basically the, the uh, bunch of the stuff we can, uh, we have maintenance ac across the air. We know the diagnostic and like everything what's happening in the tree because they're connected to our service and we know what's happening and we can alert people when there is anything wrong with it. But uh, the only actual maintenance we did in these last three years is that uh, cables get vandalized from time to time. So basically in terms, and that's just, yeah. just small parts of it. Uh, we, are, we have cable, uh, char uh, charging cables because a lot of people doesn't carry their cables with them all the time. So we decided to have them, even we knew that it's going to be a problem. Yeah. So we have both USB plugs and the cables. If you have your own cable, feel free to use USB plug. If you don't have it, we'll have like 16 different cables for almost all of the cell phones in the market. And from time to time they get uh, either like ripped off, either like whatever, people are crazy. And we designed, we designed them uh, totally customly. So there is no material incentive to, st to stall them because you can't plug them anywhere else except the strawberry tree. So there is no incentive to steal them. Uh, on one side, on other side, they can, they're really cheap. They can be easily changed. And this kind of stuff is usually done by a local partner. So in, in, in Serbia, we're doing that ourselves. In all of the other countries, we have local partners who deal with that. Terrific.